<laughs> We're going to have a little bit of everything. We had these nice, warm, a little bit soupy today, mm -hmm. but going into a kind of a brisk weekend, get yeah. a little pass from yard work. Uh, and then we bump way up again. I know, all over the place. Mother Nature cannot make up her mind, but at least she's not bringing us what we had three years ago. Oh man, I'll never forget that. We are so fortunate in that. I will say it's been a while, at least in Austin, since our last frosty morning. Back 26 days ago, if you recall on January 20th, that was our last freeze. We've had eight so far. The average in a season is 12, and incidentally enough, Today, February 15th, for Camp Mabry is the average last freeze. Guess what? Sunday morning, I'm forecasting 33. Some of the new computer models coming out tonight are suggesting it might even drop to freezing in Austin. And you know if I'm talking 32, 33 in town, that means outlying spots are going to be in the 20s like Fredericksburg at 27, Bastrop at 32, 32 in Lockhart, 31 in Georgetown. This is Sunday morning. How do we get there? Well, first we got one more really warm day ahead. Today we hit 71 degrees. Right now it's 65. Our overnight low probably only going to fall into the low 60s. And then guess what? Temperatures right now nice and mild. We will see that all the way until probably around 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow. And then comes that strong cold front. Meanwhile, I've been watching a system down to our south. It may bring some rain to our friends in San Antonio, maybe as far north as New Braunfels. Maybe those of you in Luling or Lockhart might be able to luck in on some of this. The majority of us, though, going to be dry. And then we wait on the next weather maker, this cold front that's going to come through. It is a very strong cold front, but not necessarily Arctic, and it's only going to bring us brief cooling. Here's the sad news is the rain chances that we would love to have are sinking farther and farther south. That's it. Don't count on it. Most areas will be dry. Meantime, for tomorrow, cloudy skies from start to finish, 61 at 8 in the morning, 4 o'clock temperature right around 71. So here we go. Saturday morning, you're going to go from 70s Friday afternoon to 30s feeling like freezing on Saturday morning because of strong gusty winds behind that cold front. High temperature on Saturday just 51, high temperature on Sunday just 58. Sunday morning, not only am I talking near freezing temperatures, that is also the Austin Marathon. So we could see a start with sunny skies and light winds, 33 up to 40 by 9 a.m., about 50 degrees by midday. Now for the runners, as long as you got lots of layers that you can shed, it should be good. For the spectators, it's going to be downright cold. There are signs, though, that that might be the coldest we see possibly for the rest of the season. And look at this. Wednesday and Thursday, we could see the warmest of the year so far into the 80s. We'll be right back.